Hey, this is Del Rolando. You're watching edan.com. Thank you so much, movie superstar Delroy Lindo. I appreciate that shout out. Huge movie star from movies such as, well, the list goes on and on, but some of the most memorable ones are uh, Get Shorty, of course, with John Travolta and Danny DeVito. Another one with Danny DeVito and Gene Hackman, he did Heist, a fantastic movie, quick paced movie. Uh, check that out if you haven't seen it. It kind of slipped under the radar, but a great, great movie. Welcome to show 150. From March 15th, 2010, I'm Dan Doherty, the host of this fantastic daily show here at edan.com. I'm also the CEO and founder of tiptopwebsite.com, where you could create your own website online in 60 seconds. Get one right now. Packages start at only $12 a year. That comes out to a dollar a month. Use the promo code DAN, D-A-N, and I'll give you a free domain on any sign-up. That's right, on any sign-up. That's right. On any package, when you sign up, use the promo code Dan in the promo code section. Free domain. That's right, any package. Three different packages. You choose your package. Use the promo code Dan. There's a free domain. Let's jump into the show. Talk about internet going to space, right? Computers, space program, always worked hand in hand. Elon Musk, the guy that started PayPal, a little company called PayPal.com, just sold for over a billion dollars to eBay. We've talked about them before. I've watched this guy. He's really a... Obviously, a very intelligent young man. He's started a company called SpaceX. He's also started a little company called Tesla Motors, electric car. This guy's taken on, he's conquered the world. Now he wants to conquer space. Just uh, had a great news for this guy. Just did in Florida, a six, SpaceX successfully tests new rocket engine at launch pad. So what they did is they set the rocket up on the launch pad and ignited the rocket boosters, and they worked. So what's that mean? It means that they're ready to go to outer space to bring payloads up, payloads for the space station, payloads for, you know, DirecTV and Sprint and Verizon, whoever other, other companies are still, uh, AT&T, other companies are still uh, using uh, earthbound services such as cell phones, right? So you understand when you, when you call a cell phone, I got my phone right here, they bound, the signal bounces around. And a lot of times it bounces up to satellites when you call overseas. You know, when you talk on a cell phone, you understand that when people use normal phones, phones that are hardline, into your wall, not too long ago, and still to this day, when you call overseas, when you call France, I've got a sister in France, there was actually a cable that ran under the ocean. So when you called, I would, that's the only way to get there. Right, the cable is actually buried in the ocean, and you would talk to people. The phone, your your voice would be going under the ocean and picking up and switchboard in France. You talk to somewhere in Germany, wherever it was. Okay, with satellites, we call, bounces off repeater up to the satellite, boom, over to France. You're good to go. So we need to send things up there all the time. When I say things up there, I'm talking about payload. Payload could be anything. Satellites, we can send uh, like you know food. Uh, up to the space station, we always have to take trash down from the space station and you know, repair any ships going on. And So this is great. NASA, one of the greatest and smartest companies in the world out there, but they've turned to SpaceX because SpaceX said we can do it cheaper and better than you. So NASA's contracting them out there at Hawthorne, California, and so they're going to use Elon's rockets, and this is great news. So first PayPal, then Tesla Motors, now SpaceX. So you know, basically what it's saying is get a website and you can do anything in the world you want, all right? Jump forward, you know, fast forward, a lot of hard work, but this is what this guy did. Okay, uh, I want to talk to you about hits on your website. When you buy advertising on someone's site, okay, so you go buy advertising on abc.com or cbs.com and they say, we get 50 million hits a day. Well, they might get 50 million page views. Every time you look at the page and you hit refresh or look at their inner pages, those are page views. So one person may, you know, count for 25, 30, or 50 page views. How many unique visitors? Unique means how many visitors visit your website within a 24-hour period. So if I hit this website and just refresh, 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 that's still counting as one. Come back 23 hours later, refresh, refresh, still one person. The 24th hour and one minute, now I'm going to count as another visitor. So many websites since day one have said, we get millions of hits. Advertise with us and spend a lot of money because you'll get more traffic because all the traffic we get. Well, what page do they get that traffic on? Do they get it on their homepage? Are they advertising you on their homepage? You want to put a banner on their homepage or link on their homepage or inner pages? Okay, I was 
recently talking to a company and they said, we spend all this money on this company, but they get so many hits. I said, well, that's great. You know, so I started looking. I couldn't even find their ad anywhere. And they said, well, you've look under here, look under here, look under here. Couldn't find them. So I said, well, I can't find you. Well, we do get traffic from them. They get a ton of hits and we get a ton of hits back. You really have to break down how many hits you're getting. That's why I always turn to Google when I do my pay-per-click and I use Ahu and MSN, you know, now called Bing, because I can see actual visitors, okay? And again, you don't want to spend money on pay-per-click. I fully understand, but don't get sucked into buying traffic from these high traffic websites when you don't really know what the traffic's about and you don't know if you're getting on the homepage. So if you're going to buy a spot, when I say a spot, your text ad or banner ad on someone's website and they say they're getting all this traffic, let them show you the traffic, okay? And put it, see if you can buy uh, an ad up there for a day and then track your stats, okay? You can use Google Analytics. It's free. You can add that in your website and uh, we show you how to do it in our member section. You can add it no matter what website you have and um, you'll be able to see exactly where the hits are coming from. Is it coming from the the place you bought it from, and after a day, they say, oh, you have to wait. You have to wait 36 days before the really traffic really comes. Not true. Not true like a billboard or a radio ad. If you put a link on someone's page, and they said they're getting a million hits a day, and you only get uh, one hit, well, you, they say you waited 30 days, and then you'll get uh, much more. Well, what's, what's it matter from today or 30 days from now? It's all the same traffic, right? There's more people coming in every day, but still going to have a million hits on a website. You're only going to get one hit. So don't buy into this long-term stuff. Try things out for a day. Try things out for two. You know, um, when you're doing advertising. Advertising is a lot of trial and error. Remember, always have a website. Always have, don't change that, you know, change the content of the website, but don't change your website name. If you want to get additional domain names, fully understandable. But get your domain name and brand it and then try the advertising out. And don't get sucked into these big numbers. A lot of them are just made-up numbers, make-believe numbers. So that's the show. Delroy, I, uh, geez, I just such a huge star and I appreciate that shout out and we'll be watching all the fantastic movies you do make sure you use the promo code Dan D-A-N at sign up when you sign up for your website at tiptopwebsite.com so I can give you your free domain alright thanks for watching the show and I'll see you tomorrow